As usual, you always expected to answer all questions. Question 1 says, all your bread readings, initial and final, as well as the size of your pipette must be recorded, but no account of experimental procedure is required. All calculations must be done on this question paper. A similar thing to WAEG, right? It is a solution containing 0.04 moles per dm cubed to dose of a 6 acid, that's um, H2SO4. B is a solution of anhydrous sodium trazocarbonate 4, that's Na2CO3. Put into the bread and titrate against 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube of B using methyl orange as indicator. Repeat the titration 3 more times and record your results in the table below. Okay, this is the table here. So, the volume of prepared use was 25. 0 0.00 cm cube. That's a common one. So, based on the analysis that we made, our rough titer, of course, initial value will always be 0 0.00. Our titer value was about 20.4. Yes. So, 20.40. We record in two decimal places. 20.40 and 20.40 while my rub was about 21.50 and 21.50 now whatever you got was okay provided you were consistent with your values and it aligned with your teachers or supervisors uh, data values there's no issue about that all right so with this we have a six marks to two marks for each concordant word value since we have three concordant values here six marks right next question we ask to calculate the average volume of acid used to calculate the average volume of acid used We're going to use first tighter, write out this formula, plus second tighter, plus third tighter. Any tighter that you are not using to calculate your average volume of acid should not be included in this formula. All of our what, three. And it's always advisable to use only the concordant word values. We have 20.40. There's nothing wrong if all your values are the same. It's no crime. All over 3. Of course, in cm cube. So, this will give us 20.4 times 3. 61.20 cm cube divided by 3. Which gives us 20.40 cm cube in two decimal places okay so that's the answer that we got and here we end at two marks one mark for the formula the substitution and final answer one mark substitution and final answer one mark next question says which solution has a soapy fill for the solution to have a soapy fill must be a base because that's one of the physical properties of bases right and of the two solutions the base there is sodium trazocarbonate 4, right? So, solution B. B, that is sodium trioxocarbonate 4. Solution. And you end your one mark there giving us what nine marks all right so let's move we are told that the equation of the reaction is as shown here h2so4 chaos plus na2co3 giving us na2so4 plus h2o and co2 we have the relative atomic masses of the elements given to us from the result that the information provided calculate the concentration of b in moles per dm cube okay remember we're given the concentration of a in moles per dm cube was 0.04 moles per dm cube so now we are asked to find the concentration of b in moles per dm cube so what do we need to find the concentration of b in moles per dm cube we don't need the mass of b 
and the molar mass of B. If you can calculate the molar mass of B, because we know what B is, but we were not given the mass of B, right? That was dissolved in a particular volume of water to form that solution, but we were given the concentration of A in moles per dm cube, which means that we can use the concentration of A in moles per dm cube to get the concentration of B in moles per dm cube using the titration formula, right? Let's divide this. So using CAVA over CBVB equals to NA over NB. What is NA? The mole ratio is 1 ratio 1, right? But what does that say? That CA is concentration of H2SO4 in moles per dm cube. It was given to us as 0 0.0. 0 0.04 moles per dm cube, right? And our CB is what we are looking for as concentration of Na2CO3 in moles per dm cube, which we do not have. Then a uh, VA is the average data, average volume of a used which is 20.40 cm cube and our bb is the volume of base which is based on the volume of our pipette which is 25.00 cm cube so at na over nb is a mole ratio of acid to base which in this case is 1 ratio 1 let's confirm based on the equation of reaction we can see the 1 ratio 1 all right so if we substitute this into this equation here we'll have ca va over cb vb equals 1 over 1 that's the first thing you need to do so see the mole ratio, the value of the mole ratio into the equation. Then you make um, what you're looking for CB subject of formula. That's CB equal to CABA times one all over VB times one. Then you substitute the values into the equation. That'll be 0 0.04 times VA is 20.4 times 1 all over VB is 25 times 1 so if you calculate this the answer will give you the concentration of B moles per dm cube it goes 0 0.03264 0 0.03264 moles per dm cube but your answer must be in three significant figures so that gives us 0.0326 moles per dm cube in 3 SF. So, how do you end your marks here? So, this is your one mark, this is your one mark, this is your one mark, and the final answer in 3 string figures is your one mark. So, that's how you end your four marks. Alright, okay, let's move on to the next question. In the next question, we are asked to calculate concentration of B in grams per dm cube. Okay, now that I've calculated the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, we're going to use that to determine the concentration of B in grams per dm cube using the formula that relates concentration in grams per dm cube with concentration in moles per dm cube. And that formula is what? Concentration of B in grams per dm cube equal to concentration of B in moles per dm cube times molar mass of B okay of course we know our B is Na2CO3 so first of all let's calculate the molar mass of B
I must always show how you got that. That will be NH23, that will be 23 times 2 plus carbon is 12, 12 times 1 plus oxygen is 16, 16 times 3. So that will be 46 plus 12 plus 48, it gives us um, 106 grams per mole, right? 106 grams per mole. So we substitute the values of the concentration of B in grams per dm cube would be 0.0326 moles per dm cube times 106 grams per mole and that gives us 3.456 grams per dm cube remember I always tell you that all your calculated concentration values must always be in three significant figures. So this will be 3.46 grams per dm cube. And you end your three marks. And how would that be for stating the correct formula? That's one mark. Correct substitution with the correct molecular mass calculated. That would be one mark. And correct answer, three significant figures, one mark. After that, we move to the next question. Let me divide the screen. I would love to draw so I have enough space to write. Okay, so mass of sodium trisulfate 6 that would be formed if 1 dm cube of B were to let by it. So, from the equation of reaction, We saw that one mole of B, that's Na2CO3, would produce one mole of Na2SO4, right? So the next thing we are meant to do is to determine the number of moles of B that will be present in one dm of the solution. So number of moles of of Na2CO3 present in one dm cube of its solution would be as n here would be concentration of B times the volume in dm cube and the volume here is what one dm cube so that would be zero point 0326 that was should have most per dm cube moles per dm cube times one dm cube so this will give us 0.0326 mole of na2co3 that will be present so it, this implies that 0.0326 mole of Na2CO3 will produce 0.0326 mole of Na2SO4. But we are told to find the mass of Na2SO4 that will be formed, right? So here I'll give you the relationship between mass and what? Mass and number of moles, which is mass of Na2CO3, Na2SO4, sorry, will be equal to number of moles of Na2SO4 times molar mass. Remember, number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So, mass now will be equal to what? Number of moles times molar mass. So, I've calculated the number of moles to be 0 0.0326 times the mass of any 2 co3 that will be 23 plus 2 plus 32 times 1 plus 16 times 4 right all this in brackets that will give us 0 0.0326 times times 142 so uh, 0 0.0326 mole times 142 grams per mole 
and this gives us 4.629 mole. We like and say approximately 4.63 mole. Okay, so with this in your formats and how the mass be allotted, we're showing the relationship between the Na2CO3 and um, the Na2SO4 in terms of mole ratio. That's one mark. Correctly calculating the number of moles of Na2CO3. That's another mark. Then correctly calculating the number of moles of Na2SO4 from Na2CO3. That's another mark. Then correctly converting the number of moles to mass. Oh, this should be mass, not number of moles. This should be mass, so it should be in grams. So sorry, it should be in grams. It should be in grams. If I to do this in an exam, I will lose this mark here because I'm using the wrong unit, right? So you have to be very, very careful, right? So it should be in grams, 4.63 grams. So this will be one mark. All right, let's look at the next question. Volume of carbon four oxide that will be liberated at STP. Since we know the number of moles of Na2CO3 that was used in the titration, we can use that to, to determine the volume of carbon four oxide that was liberated by using the mole ratio from the equation of reaction to there are one mole of Na2CO3 produce one mole of CO2 gas at STP right therefore 0.0326 mole of Na2CO3 will produce 0.0326 mole of CO2 at STP so to now determine the volume of carbon fog that will be liberated we are now going to convert this number of moles to volume using volume of CO2 equals our number of moles of CO2 times the molar volume that will be 0 0.0326 times molar volume at STP is 22.4 DMQ. So this gives us 0 0.73024 DM cube. This is approximately in CM cube multiplied by 1000, that'll be 730.24 CM cube. Remember, the answers you will get or you got in your or exams depended on your title value. All the answers here are based on my title value. And in the mark guide, there will be no specific title value, right? There will be no specific title. So don't don't fidget if you do not get the same thing that I'm getting here. They will mark your script based on your title values. And the only thing that may work against you is if your title value did not of not fall within a grid range of your supervisors or your teacher's title value right so that's how you get your three marks here and how will the three marks be allotted more ratio one correctly calculating the number of moles of co2 or more then correctly converting the number of moles to volume that's another mark all right of course you know that in chemistry there are different ways of approaching your calculations in chemistry so provided they are logical and your answers are correct you are good to go it must not be exactly the same thing as what i'm doing here right so that's that's that on question one right so now let's move on to question two